Okay, Sandy, this is for you. <sighs> Post stroke, so here, have a look. You see my left hand can't stay still. It's just wiggling and wiggling and wiggling. I don't know, in the camera it looks like it's my right hand, but I don't know why it's reversed, but anyway, it's my left hand and this is how it shakes. So, I'm gonna do a classic ring pour for you today. I haven't done one in a really long time. But typically you fill this full of your required amount of paint and then you pour it out on your base coat and then you sometimes jiggle it this way or jiggle it this way or go in circles but I'm gonna see what happens if I use this totally uncontrolled hand because I think we might get some really cool interesting things why not if somebody gives you lemons you gotta make lemonade right hope there's not too much shadow on here so you can see Instead of just doing a white background or a black background, I'm going to do a combo of white and cream. So we're just going to do some of this, some of this for our base coat. fingers okay like I said I haven't done this one in a while so normally I would pour into something like this not squirt but today's all about living dangerously anyway isn't it so I'm gonna put some white in the bottom Even to just, and the idea is not to go super fast, so. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Be steady. Oh, look at that. Look at how steady that hand is compared. Yep. Oh, we're getting all kinds of figure eights, and yeah, because I just can't. I just can't. It's coming out a little faster than I would like. And I hope I'm not just making mud. I hope I'm just not make, making mud here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is not easy. Oh my word. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a sec and I'm gonna do some corners just because they're the hardest to get covered. <laughs> well, if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? Okay. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this is not a traditional ring pour by any stretch of the imagination. Oh my word. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Now this is also going to be difficult because I can't hold anything still, but here we go, here we go, and okay, so you get an idea as to how liquidy we're talking when I say, I'm going to run off the side, don't be afraid, it's going to happen, it's what you want. can kind of center before you move on to going to the next direction. God knows you got lots of paint. Ring pours have never been my favorite just because, I don't know, I find them 
somewhat uninspiring to some degree, but I just wanted to see what would happen with my shaky hand. Okay, so we've got our corners covered. We almost have our sides covered. That can be done later. I want to stretch out some of that blue area that developed there in the middle and get rid of some of the stuff that's just lines because I'm not not loving it. Like I said, it's, it's way more interesting in the middle. So we're going to concentrate on trying to see what develops with that. I may blow out some of the edges just because I can't resist like I said, ring pours are not my favorite. Let's get this giant weird one in the corner going because I'm not loving that. I'm not loving that. I'm loving what's going on in the middle. So I'm good with that. I just want to get some of these lines that look like they're tree bark because I'm not fond of that either. So because this is just an experiment with this new and interesting hand that I have. Okay, let me wipe myself down a bit here. Okay, I'm going to take my spanky new heat gun, break some of these bubbles. So for me, I have no interest in using a butane torch because number one, I don't want to kill myself with paint fumes. Number two, I don't want to set my workspace on fire, which I probably would. So this is a pretty hot heat gun. It's a new one. But like I said, there's a lot of elements on here I don't like. <sighs> Some of this stuff in here is cool. but. I'm gonna well uh -oh. Okay, shaky, 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 shaky. Yeah, that's way too much paint on there. Note to self, I don't need four ounces for a 10 by 10. I just wanna stretch it more anyway because maybe something more interesting will happen if I stretch out all of that paint. If you can, which way you can see better. Yeah, I just, I don't like this corner. So let's see how much movement I still have here. Well, let's try something else. Like I said, never give up, never surrender, because you can always do something else. And my least favorite are chevrons. That's why I don't do ring pours. And I don't do much in the way of just pouring and tilting anymore because it's just not my favorite outcome. So, let's try something else. So here's one of these cute bundles of air that you get from Amazon. Here. I'm going to press it so that I've got a firm surface and then we're going to go in the places you don't like, like right here. 
and we're gonna roll a bit and lift up. Clean off. Roll a bit. Pick up. Pick up. Yeah. Oh no. Well, you're seeing me at my worst anyway. But oh, wait a second. See, there's just green mud here right now. So let me take some of this navy. Not loving anything about this. Just saying. What other technique can I throw in here to try to save this? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. Let's try to balance it out a bit. Um, yeah. So, this is a horrible spot right there. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. In fact,
be in all fairness, I should be doing one. That started out the right way just to show you. This is a save. This is what you call trying to save all that paint so you don't waste it because it makes you feel super guilty when you do. All right. Well, if you can come in close, which I know you can't because I don't think the glare will let me, but when it's dry, I could maybe show you some of the really cool little places where we've got all kinds of lacing and stuff. Um, all right. So it's definitely got some interesting things going on and it's got some not so interesting things going on. Well, I'm not going to touch that because that's interesting right there. Those are too chevroni for me, but I'm leaving them. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I just can't. I can't help it. I can't help it. No, let me see if I can get some lacing on the end of that. Yep, like that. Some of the stuff's been sitting too long here. That's cool. That's cool. See, that turned into something cool. Now we're going to leave well enough alone because I don't know, maybe we just call this stroke victim because honestly, it's pretty sad. I think we're done here. My work is done here. This is not an ideal situation, but it's kind of when things go horribly wrong, you can still kind of save it. Oh, that's very cool what's happening there from the alcohol. So. Moving that out of the way. Normally, I don't like to waste this. I will put it on paper and use it for using on my cutting machine or something because I just can't stand the waste. You know what? It's not horrible, and it's got some really cool, interesting stuff going on inside it, so, yeah. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not bad. There's so many little interesting things going on. <laughs>